Hello Capricorn. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you're dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what it does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. The Route 53 Tarot Lectures Review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Excuse me. say oh boy Two more and I'll jump into this. Huh. Yeah, you... Okay. <laughs> I, I, I catch your drift, Capricorn. I definitely catch your drift. Um, and it makes sense as to why you'd respond or react that way to them. That is for sure. I feel like you know. When you know, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. It'll show. When you when you know, you know, and it'll show. That there'll be writing on the wall and there'll be proof, and it's kind of like, hmm. Um, even though, yes, appearances can always be deceiving. But jumping into this, um, at the same time, it's kind of like you make your bed, you lie in it. Um, How do I say this? They definitely have accepted that whatever the connection, relationship, or dynamic is between the two of you, they don't want to let you go. At the same time, they also kind of feel like they've settled with you, unfortunately. Um, because the, the, way they, the way they look at you, the way they perceive you or the situation, it's not a good thought. It's definitely not a good thought, and it's not a good emotion either. And the, the, What they're saying is their emotions are fitting off their thoughts and their perspective towards you. And even though they are willing to kind of still give to the situation for the sake of things progressing and advancing and growing with what the two of you have together, they're saying it's difficult. They're kind of at their rope's end here. Um, but that's what's very fascinating is them even energetically saying that they feel like they're at the rope's end. They are having the realization of like, wow, if they actually still, you know, push through and ride through this with you, that there actually will still be something that can, you know, can come out of this in a positive sense. Um but for some reason, it's almost kind of like, I'm not going to say this is out of manipulation or control because I don't sense that. It's just an energy of, they are so... Mental dominant. Mental dominant. This, this might be considered like a type A personality where it's kind of like mental, 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 mental. Like, I'm not going to say neurotic or anything like that. It's just very mental. Very mental. Um... It's kind of like they think this, they think that, they think this, they, 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 you get it, you get it, it's very quick, like very quick uh, neural firings in the brain. Um, and even when they have emotions and feelings, it's almost like they don't even show it. It's all, it's all internalized and it's all processed through the way they perceive and see things between the two of you. But this is what's fascinating is 
the, the growth and the progress between the two that they actually are witnessing and seeing, it, it does bring up emotions and they're kind of saying, okay, great. This is, this is what they were kind of looking for, for the sake of working on things with you. And that's what's interesting is it's kind of like one of those situations where it's like, how do you kind of come back from that? Someone claims that they've settled with you and it's like, well, that's a hell of an effort to show someone that's kind of like, you actually mean something. And that's exactly what I was talking about. It, it makes sense as to why you would show yourself the way you do, Capricorn. Yeah, and there, there's like I said, there's the two of you, and that, that's what I was talking about. Um, It's, it's still it's 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 repeated it's a violent bounce it's a violent bounce They're, mm. yeah yeah it's you know it, it's not you can't you can't think your way through the entire relationship or connection you can't um, and when someone tries to, in a sense, control the, the connection of the relationship entirely from this, the mental space, it really skips over the emotional space and the emotional aspect and the color of the situation. It, it, it's sort of like, well, I think this, I think that, I think that, I think that, I think that. Um, it, it skips the emotions, the, the expression, the feelings. And that, that's exactly what's happening because what they're showing me is even though it seems and feels like the two of you, well, them more specifically, because they don't show me like the two of you do on the same page doing this together. They show me them solely kind of taking the lead on this. Um, and you being like, well, what am I supposed to do with that information? I, I feel it. I get it. Um, the, the, it's like they, they feel like they're doing what it's interesting. They feel like they're doing what they need to be doing. But what's fascinating about the dynamic is it's such a difficult situation because they're supposed to be the ones actually working on the genuine connection with the two of you. It's kind of like, why is it so difficult to get them to pay attention and get out of their, get out of their mind? They got to get out of their mind and get into their heart. And that's, what's so very fascinating is they're kind of, it's almost like they're, they're back to basics. It's like, they're having to go to school to learn how to actually put in work and effort and work on the foundation, the fundamentals with the connection and relationship between the two of you, just in order for things to progress and move forward. It's kind of like you, 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 like I said, you can't think your way through the entire relationship. There's got to be emotions and feelings and that exchange and that expression between the two of you, the back and forth flow. And so even though it's kind of like, well, then they're, they're having the realization of like how to work on the actual genuine relationship and connection. And as it seems and it feels like the things that are progressing and moving forward, the two of you, once again, it's almost kind of like they're having this unfortunate wake up call within themselves of possibly where they went wrong. It, it's almost kind of like they realize that even though they're kind of like in fight or flight so survival mode, they realize that there are some things that they skipped over. And it's sort of like, it's not just a matter of, I think this and I think that about the relationship. It's much more than that. It's not all about perception and how you perceive it. And so they're realizing something about themselves, which is actually empowering them. And so whatever this chapter or cycle is, there's definitely something being completed that they are learning from the situation, but they still got, they're kind of energetically showing me, they still have a, a ways to go. They still have a ways to go. So don't exactly know where this one will head, but of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an air sign, a water sign. And that is all. Good night.